All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a full panel flag on Easel Pro. So this one is going to be cut out on the E4, um, which has a 24 inch by 24 inch cutting area. Um, so with this flag, uh, it's going to be 24 inches by 13 inches, which is the exact same size I do my small flags in anyway. And it's pretty easy to set up because the stripes are one inch width. So uh, I'll show you the process that I do um, to, get, uh, to get this made. It's pretty simple. So with a small flag, um, the union size is a 10 inch by seven inch high um, union. So there's projects on Inventables that have the stars already laid out for you. So you can go find that uh, if you don't have a star um, available, like a star <clears throat> pattern available, or you can buy one off of Etsy. I already have one um, done. So all I'm going to do is copy all the stars and I'm going to paste them in and then put them. Uh, where I need them so I know like I said I know the union is 10 inches long so I'll take it all the way to 10 inches which is right here and 7 inches high so I'll do the top 7 um, sections on this part right here so I want to get it as close to even as I can which that looks pretty good alright so that's your union set the next part is um, setting the stripes so you want to have the carved out stripes to be the white stripes so obviously you know it's going to be um, the so the first stripe is going to be your color stripe second stripe will be your white stripe so this one you're not going to put anything so the second one you're going to uh, I go up to shapes up here and click square which gives you that right here so then I go over here which usually is your cut depth right here you want to click shape and for the height you want to change that because it's going to be 14 inches long because it's going to butt up against the union so you know the union's 10 inches long the flag is 24 inches total long so that's going to leave you at 14 inches so click that and then so we got 14 inches long and then we want it at one inch uh, width all right so now you got that right there and we're going to set that like i said the second you want to get it as close into this spot that you can so let's move it up just a little bit because luckily these little squares right here are one inch by one inch so we know it has to fit exactly in that and now to, in order to get the union correct what you can do is you can highlight that and you want to change the X we got it pretty close let's change the X to 10 so that'll put it exactly at the 10 inches so that your uh, union is going to be perfect. Now, in order, instead of having to do all that again and again and again, so we'll just highlight that, Control C, Control V, and it'll put another one over here that you can do. Same thing. Let's put it all the way. So you want to get it in between as best you can. That looks pretty good. Let's highlight it. Let's look where we're at on the X. So let's put that. Um, at 10 even and you can even look at these so you can see which one you're pretty close to so nine so this is going to be the nine inch block so you want to change that to nine you can do, even do that with this one so that's an 11 inch block so hit 11 and that'll put it perfectly in between those right there so let's do it again we got one more for the short ones control c control v all right let's move that over here let's get as close as we can so we'll change that to 10, so it goes right up against the union, and that's in the 7 inch block, so change that to 7. Alright, so that'll leave you a, this will be the dark stripe, light stripe, dark stripe. I know it looks different because of how it's set up, but the dark area is what's going to be carved out. Um, so next we have um, an, another, um, this stripe right here will be carved out which is actually the eighth stripe from the top. So let's copy this one right here. So we gotta copy it, control V to do it. Now obviously this one needs to be longer. So we're just gonna highlight it, go to the shape right here. So we want it to be obviously 24 inches cause that's a 24 inch flag. Let's get it in here, close as we can by ourselves. 
go up here to the X and the Y. So for this one, because we want it all the way at the end, it's going to be 0 for X, and that will butt it up right against the end. Now this one right here is going to be in the 5-inch block, so you want to change that to 5, and that's going to give you the perfect, uh, perfect setup. And then we will just copy this one, Control-C, paste it, Control-V, and it'll give you another perfect one right there. Get as close as you can. We're going to change this to zero again. Zero right there. And then this is the three inch block, so we'll hit three. All right, so that'll give you a perfect one right there. And then we just got to do one more Control C, Control, oops, Control C, Control V. There we go. And we're going to get as close as we can right there. And then change this one to zero and this one to one and that will give you a perfect panel flag so you can look over here at what it's going to look like once it's carved out so these right here will be your color stripes that'll be your white natural stripes and uh, same way all the way through now uh, this is if you don't want a border on the edge uh, some people like to leave a little bit of space right here on the edge. This one will take it all the way through, That's which I kind of like it. Um, so there's multiple things you can do with this. Uh, you can add logos to this side, which I've shown in another video, but I'll go ahead and add it to this real quick. So let's say, let's say you want to uh, add a logo um, to this right here. Uh, what you can do, but you don't want the stripes to run into it. So what you can do is let's upload any logo that you have saved. I'm on my work computer, so I don't really have a ton. So we'll just select Army logo. It's SVG, a two-part SVG. So let me take out the second part right there. All right, so whatever, oh shoot, um, whatever your logo is, you move it up here and make it a little bit bigger. All right. So you make it a little bit bigger right there, and you want to you want to highlight that Control C, Control V to give yourself a duplicate and put that right there. Uh, so you, with this one highlighted, you want to go over here to Apps, type in Offsetter. You want version two? Click version two. Basically, this gives you a shadow that is going to go behind the logo. So this number right here, the distance is how much bigger it's going to be than the logo right here. So I'm going to keep it at 0.25, so that means it's going to be 0.25 bigger than this logo. All right, so we want to uncheck Keep Original because we've already made a duplicate. Import. All right, now we want to highlight this circle right here. And then we want to go to Edit, Combine. All right, and we want to change, so I can see, you can see, um, change the cut depth to zero. All right, now let's choose this one over here, right click it, bring to front. All right, highlight both of them, center in the middle, center up and down. And uh, there you have it. So you want to change this depth to whatever depth you want the union, or not the union, the logo to cut. And then highlight both of them. Bring it down right here. And then boom. So what it's going to be, it's kind of hard to see. Let's zoom in. So what it's going to be now, that little shadow that's behind it is going to give you that space so that the, the union, I mean the... Um, the stripes don't run into the logo that you have. So that's how you add it. And then you can make a one cut, um, a one cut panel flag and these things sell pretty good. So that's how you do it.